Tony, thanks. Tonight we take a closer look at a murder investigation in Richland Township. From the victim's complicated life to his devastated family and detectives putting in countless hours to find the killer. It was a nice day. <laughs> he was a Johnstown boy who grew up in the Hornerstown neighborhood, the son of a steel worker, a true mama's boy. He had six older sisters and then he was the baby, so he pretty much had seven mothers <laughs> to, to cater to him and give him everything he wanted. Growing up in the Williams house was, in a word, fun. It was always the place where family got together, and they still do. Bobby, who was always the life of the party, is why they're here right now. A day doesn't go by that we don't think about my brother. Very sad. We'll miss him. It was the beginning of a new year, January 2013. It was just an ordinary day for us. We were doing the things we normally do. Um, he worked, I worked. I was going to get my hair done. He was watching our son. Bobby Williams' girlfriend agreed to share her story for the first time. We're not revealing her identity, and when you hear her story, you'll understand why. It was weird when I pulled in because the door was open, like the big door, and that was not like Bobby, and it was January, so it was freezing. So, but I really didn't think anything of it. But um, as soon as I walked, you know, into the, up the stairs and into the door, you know, my son came running. And I can't even tell you where he was. And he said, my daddy's dead, my daddy's dead. Their son, just shy of his fourth birthday, told his mom and then police there was a shooter in the house. Two men who he says forced their way inside. I was terrified for myself. I was terrified for my son. One by one, the Williams family quickly found out that Bobby was badly hurt. His sister Denise says she talked to him about 15 minutes before the shooting. His nephew remembers getting the call while watching a football game. And his sister Kim, she followed the ambulance to the hospital, where Bobby died two days later. The people who committed this horrific crime are hardcore, cold-blooded murderers and they will probably do it again. Richland Township Police Detective Kevin Gottlieb is the lead investigator on the case. It was, it was pretty early on in the investigation where we felt that this just wasn't a random home invasion, that, that Robert Williams was targeted by these individuals. Uh, and then in, in furthering our investigation, uh, we kind of narrowed down some possibilities as to why he was targeted. Police gathered evidence, talked to witnesses, but when the police tape came down, still there were no suspects or clear motive. Gottlieb began taking a closer look at the victim's life. A devoted father and son, running his own business and working a second job. But police soon learned the 38-year-old had a criminal record. Robert had been uh, arrested uh, and did six years in federal prison for uh, cocaine distribution. He came out of prison. He was on uh, four years of probation, supervised release. We also found out through the investigation that he was involved in dealing drugs during the time frame and prior to this homicide. He was dealing large quantities of prescription painkiller medication. He was not the low-level dealer. He was on the higher end where he distributed it out to a few individuals who were then the street sellers. Drugs, money, bad blood, whatever the motive, Gottlieb tells me they're following up every lead, every tip, and that includes information reported just within the last few weeks. When you, when you look at Bobby's family, I mean, they, they have to deal with the fact that somebody that, that they loved, uh, that was near and dear to their hearts, uh, was suddenly taken from them in an act of violence like this. Uh, and at this point in the investigation, I'm not able to tell them we know who did it. It's just not fair that somebody could take somebody so precious away from a family that loves him so much. Having your son ask for his dad every day and not being able to give him any answers to it. Answers that police know somebody somewhere has about this violent homicide. I wish that if anybody knew anything, you know, I'm begging people you know, these people don't deserve to be walking the streets 
you know, they don't, you don't know if they're going to do it again. That's the scariest thing. You know, not only should I be afraid, but everybody should be afraid. If you know anything that can help solve the Bobby Williams murder case, call this number right now, 1-800-548-7500. Canberra County Crime Stoppers today increased the reward to the maximum amount offered up to $5,000 for information leading to an arrest. And you can remain anonymous. Call now, that number again, 1-800-548-7500.